What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with brand new AEW action figure news for you guys. Actually coming off the heels of AEW All Out Fan Fest, which is kind of confusing. If you look at what news we have today, it doesn't really make sense why, why this wasn't shown off or why this wasn't released to us or we didn't get images of this. We didn't get any information on this whatsoever at AEW All Out Fan Fest just this past weekend. But let's go ahead and dive into it, man. Lots of things to discuss about it and lots of things to just cover overall that I wanted to get into with you but bring it up man you guys will see here we have a look at a brand new AEW Supreme Collection action figure and you're probably looking at this photo and saying MDT what the hell are you talking about Brad this is clearly the AEW Supreme Collection Unrivaled Series 1 Cody Rhodes figure and you would be incorrect this is actually a brand new AEW Unrivaled Supreme Collection Cody Rhodes figure and it is a Walmart exclusive you guys can see the Walmart sticker in the top right corner of the front of the packaging this is not the same AEW Supreme Series 1 Cody. You guys know that we most recently have had some more Walmart exclusives shown off to us. We, uh, even just in person, I, I found it myself on Toy Hunts. I found the Adam Hangman page. We have seen the CM Punk. We've reviewed both figures. They come with that same exact Walmart sticker on there. I don't think that this has been necessarily like just straight up confirmed and announced by AEW or Jazzwares, but there is no reason to believe that this is not legitimate. I think this is 100% legit. I don't have any questions or quarrels or anything about it, man. I think this is absolutely 100% correct and real. And so you guys are going to get into the details right now. You guys can see here, it looks just like the Supreme Series 1. It's got the same jacket. It's got the same accessories outside of a few things, right? It's got the same head sculpts. It's got the GD microphone, of course, but the belts are different. The t-shirt's different. The arms and the interchangeable hands are the same. The head sculpts, like we said, are the same, but you guys will notice that the gears are different. We are getting different gear here. The main color of this Supreme Collection is going to be the red pants or the red tights that you guys see. And then the alternate gear is going to be this like gunmetal grayish black, silver, and like cyan or light blue color that looks incredible. Like this is actually a red, like I know a lot of people are going to moan and groan about it. I know for a fact, but you guys know how Jazzwares works and operates. You guys know how Jeremy operates with his business model. We are getting these kind of variants. This is not like a chase or something like that. This is a Walmart exclusive exclusive Supreme Cody. So what I'm guessing is that it, to me, like there's a lot of things to discuss. I should have wrote down notes because I had a list of things that I wanted to discuss, but you guys know that Target has Legends Ultimates for WWE and Mattel. Is this their way to kind of counteract that and be like, well, if you go to Walmart, you can get the AEW Supreme exclusives, right? But we also know that Target also has these AEW figure exclusives coming soon, the Unrivaled Collection. We actually just got mock images of these figures the other day, or actually brand new images of the Darby Allen and Sammy Guevara figures coming soon, which I can't wait for. They actually went up for pre-order a couple times, but I know for a fact I'll find those in the store. Before they even reach or fulfill my pre-order, they'll be at my local Target. I can guarantee that. So I didn't even pre-order these guys. I didn't even worry about it. I was like, I'll find these. You know, I'll, I'll find them. I'll review them. I'll get my hands on my copies that I want. But going back to the Supreme Collection and the whole Walmart exclusive deal, apparently we're getting Walmart exclusive Supremes. And we know this to be true. That's kind of how you can put context clues together. You can figure out if this is legitimate or not. Go back to All Out Fan Fest. What did we see? We saw a Walmart exclusive Supreme Collection Kenny Omega figure. And it was in the jeans, right? We saw the jeans. It was the interchangeable parts. We saw the Kenny Omega with the jacket. And he also came with his other gear that we didn't get featured in his first go around. So you guys can already see that they're already tweaking Supreme Collection figures and making those into their whole own new figures. And so that'll be something that, you know, is a real deal. So I, I think this is an absolute cop for me. I mean, I'm, a, I'm I'm trying my best to get every single AEW action figure. So this is going to be something that I'll absolutely buy. And it's probably going to be one of those double ups. I'd like to have, if, if they come with two gears, I would like to have a Supreme in one gear and a Supreme in the other gear without just having extra tights laying around, even though I guess that will be possible because, you know, one of the legs, it can't be fully used up on the shelf. But what do you guys think of this Cody Rhodes Supreme Collection figure? What is your analysis. If you compare the two, you guys can see in the Supreme Series 1, you have the blue main gear with the blue jacket. I really wish they would have changed the jacket up a little bit instead of giving us the exact same jacket, but I guess we will have more. You know, I guess I could, I don't know. I, I don't even really know what to say, but they didn't change the jacket whatsoever, but the red tights, I'll try to bring up images or maybe throughout the video of Cody wearing these red tights so you'll know exactly what you're getting. I'm sure we'll probably get more images of this figure, but uh, you, you also have a look up next to the new tights or the interchangeable tights compared to 
compared to the other interchangeable tights and the way the package is stored and stuff like that. I don't know what the numbers will be on these as far as are they going to be numbered with the regular Supreme Edition line or are they going to have their own numbering system for Walmart exclusives. And if they do both of these Walmart exclusive, I imagine we're probably going to get more in the future, right? Like if there's Lucha Bros coming in Series 3, maybe they're going to take one of each of each series. So the next Walmart exclusive Supremes we get will probably be one of the two Lucha Bros, probably Penta if I had to guess, and then from Series 4, are they going to do CM Punk as the Walmart exclusive of the Supreme Collection? Because they picked Cody Rhodes from Series 1 to do a variant of, and then they did Kenny Omega from Series 2. Maybe they're picking the more popular character from each series as they go along. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. I would imagine that'd probably be the way they went if they do it. Maybe this is just something to test the waters, but... What do you guys think of this Supreme Collection figure? I like it. You know, it's not a lot of meat on the bone. I know a lot of people are going to pass on this because it's not enough. Be Like, right, it's not that big of a difference. It's legit just different tights, belts, and t-shirt. That is the only differences that I'm getting here. You also have the Walmart sticker there. Trying to get that full Supreme line, this is the way that it's going to be done. And so that is the way that it's rocking, man. But this Supreme Collection figure is very interesting. I had a ton of people asking me about it, asking me if it was legitimate. And it looks to be legitimate. Legitimate. I don't have any, again, I think this is absolutely 100% legitimate. And I'm also wondering when this is going to hit, and why didn't they show it off at FanFest? That's kind of my biggest question. That's the only question. I said I had no questions, that was BS. I do have a question, and my only question is, why didn't they show this off at All Out FanFest? I don't know why you wouldn't, and why what? Maybe this was supposed to be in the same little uh, display or detolf as the Kenny Omega, because in the Kenny Omega display in the detolf, they had images of, not images of, in real life, we got Malachi Black on display from the Supreme Collection Series 2, and Ringside even shared the Kenny and said that it was Series 2, but it wasn't Series 2. It's actually the Walmart exclusive that we just discussed. We also had a look, and this is something that I forgot to mention, we also have a look at the Kenny Omega Unmatched Series 5 figure. I forgot to show this off. Look how sick this figure looks. I know this is probably our best image that we've seen of it so far. This was live in person at All Out Fan Fest. Look how damn good this figure looks, man. I love the yelling head. I love the jacket. I love the jeans. These are the same jeans that it looks like. or They're not completely the same, but they, they look to be the same sculpt at least. Maybe painted a bit differently but floral jacket with a shirt and the chain and the Kenny Omega head and then you got the jeans on there with the sneakers very very sick figure I like this you compare combine this with the Walmart exclusive and the different dry brush details we're gonna get there really like the gear that we're getting right there man I think that's awesome but I had to get on here and talk about this Supreme Cody it was something that I had to get on here and discuss ask you guys about what do you guys feel about the Supreme Cody is it a complete pass is it one of those where you're like yeah I like Cody enough to get that and it's kind of insane because now Cody will have two Supreme Collection figures, four if you're really thinking outside the box, and then you have his ultimate that will be coming later on whenever the hell we get that figure, which is just, I don't even remember how many I ordered, bro. I ordered a shit ton, though. I think I ordered five, which is just stupid. However, man, that is going to wrap up today's video. Let me know your thoughts on the Supreme Collection Cody down in the comment section below. What do you guys think about it? Do you think there's enough meat on the bone for you there, or is this a complete and total skip? You don't want anything to do with it. Walmart exclusives, Target exclusives. I know people that don't live in the United States do not like the exclusives, and I completely, you know, I'm right there with you. I totally understand that. That would be mad annoying for me. But anyways, man, before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. Shout-out's going to go to Andrew Upshaw who says, all these figures suck. I will be getting them only for the Rick Rude build figure that I'm selling the other figures. Well, Brad, that is definitely in your right to do so, and I wouldn't blame you one freaking bit. Thanks for watching, and have a blessed one.